All right, so I'll be showing you how to launch a Pi hole in Google Cloud Platform, Compute Engine, and create firewall rules and all that fun stuff. So let's get started. So go on the sidebar, the navigation menu, and we're going to find VPC network. And we're going to go to external IP addresses first. Let's allocate a new IP address for our Pi hole. So just name it Pi hole, whatever. Uh, we're using it in the Iowa region. We're not attaching it to anything right now. And it's going to be regional. And yeah, if you're on the standard tier, use standard. If you're premium, use premium. And we're going to reserve. All right. While that's happening, let's go to firewall rules here. And we're going to create a firewall rule for our home network. Um, target tags, home network. We'll use this later. And I'm going to say 97.88.0.0/16. And we're going to allow port 80 to our Pi hole or whatever instances you have. It might not be Pi hole, it could be any service you have running on your project. So use port 80 and then 850443. Oh, uh, never mind. 80 for your instance for sure. Um, 443 and 853 we'll have to use later. So let's use 80 and 53. So that's for the admin interface and the DNS. So you're not recursive to all the internet except uh, whatever you choose for your IP range here. So create that. All right, now we're gonna create a firewall rule for Pi hole. And our target tags are going to be for Pi hole. And we're going to allow this for everything Every IP address. TCP, we're going to use port 443 and 853. And UDP, none. Oh, whoops. All right. And create. Now let's go over here to our compute engine. I'm going to create a new instance here. Uh, let's name Pi Hole for consistency. Uh, I'll just use a default region, and I'd like to use a micro instance because it's way cheaper, as you can see there. Uh, six tenths of a cent an hour, which is not bad. Um, now here, you see these. You don't want to check these because we already have firewall rules for them. But you're going to scroll down, go down here in the drop down. You might want to enable deletion protection. I'm not going to because I'll delete this later. Uh, metadata, you could put the host name in there. I'm going to name it test instance. I'll just name it pihole.adblock. Right? All right. And you'll go into networking, and we're going to add home network, pihole. And if you have verified your domain with the Google Search Console, you could set the reverse IP or the pointer record. So I'm going to do that now. And go to the network interfaces here. Internal IP, probably want it static. We'll just reserve a static and internal IP address here. We'll name it Pi Hole. It's already in use. That's because of our external IP address. So we're just going to call it Pi Hole int internal so we'll do that all right we got an internal IP and we'll choose pi hole right here I'm gonna keep note of this IP address our pointer record like I talked about earlier we need pi hole add block yes.net and once you have those things done you should be good to go so click done and create now while we're waiting for that to launch, start up, 
spin up, whatever they call it. Uh, we're going to go to, dang it, our DNS provider here. Uh, forgot the IP address. Oh, let's see. Right. Create an A record. At. We don't want the proxy on. Oh, my bad. Can't think. It's late. And then IP address. That would be pihole at. And then create. So now we have our DNS record ready. And we'll go back to our instances here. And we should be launched up. Now, if you have the G Cloud or the command line tools or the SDK, I don't know what they call it. I don't know a lot of terms here, sorry. Um, G Cloud Compute SSH instance name and then dash dash zone equals whatever zone is right here. And that'll let you SSH into it. Um, yeah, we're going to use the web SSH right now. So we'll SSH into it. All right, just wait for that. Sometimes it takes a while. Just gotta be patient. All right, we're gonna go into the root user, so sudo dash i. And the command install pihole is curl dash ssl https install dot pihole. Gosh, I can't type. And then we'll pipe it to bash. If you wanna look at it, you could just curl it or wget and look at the file and then run it that way. It's not really good to pipe to bash, but you know, whatever. So anyway, we'll use that. And you'll see all this fun stuff. <laughs> so just wait patiently. I'm going to pull up my tutorial here quickly. Right. Enter, enter, enter. Um, I don't like people. Is there open DNS here? I don't know that we have Family Shield anymore. Uh, the closest resolver here, as you would guess, would be Google because we're inside a Google Data Center. It's literally like zero ping, so we'll use that. Uh, use these. Uh, they don't support IPv6 at this moment, so we'll turn that off. Um, we'll use our external IP address. Our gateway never changes, so use that. Yep. Install the admin interface. Yes. I'll just do all these fun things here. So we'll wait for that. Just wait for it to load. All right. So there's all my tutorial here. We have the protocols and ports required. We should have set that up earlier. We have these dependencies here, certbot, DNS proxy, get an SSL certificate. We already installed Pi-hole. So now we're going to apt get update and install stretch back ports for certbot. So we'll do that now. All right, and then paste this in here. So we just moved the DNS proxy binary into the proper place. Now we're gonna create an SSL certificate here. So copy that part. And our server name is pihole.adblockdns.net. We're just gonna put 
admin at jacobs.us, agree, move. Now, as you can see here, it's kind of hanging, right? So we're going to go here, and we're just going to, um, whenever you renew, yeah, I should have had it on globally for HTTP. We're going to have to allow that. And then we'll try it one more time. Wait for it to update. All right, so we'll try that one more time. Should go through this time. All right, congratulations, we have an SSL certificate. So we're done with that. Go back in here. You can either leave that on, uh, just cancel. You can leave the HTTP on for renewal, or you can turn it off, or you could have your cron job do it with the script, it's up to you. I don't really care. Um, so let's follow the next step here. You could configure auto renew. Uh, just use the, this command in your cron tab. I'm not going to do that because I'll delete this instance later anyway, so that doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to make a new directory for the start script. Uh, I tried creating a service for DNS proxy and it gave me bull crap every single time, so I had to create a script to start it. And luckily it handles the forking very well, so that's nice. So nano start.sh. And we're going to place the host name with the host name of our server here. And then add execute permissions to the script. We're done in that directory. All right. Now we're going to edit the service. Paste all that fun code in there. All right, and now we're going to enable the service. And then we're going to start the service. And, and now let's make sure that it works. If you get this, that means the H DNS over HTTPS is working correctly. Um, I'm on my home network, so that shouldn't be bad. Now, go to Open Resolver test here. Um, let's see here. We're not detected as recursive, so that's good. Now, just to test it out and make sure that it's working, install node Debian. I think that was a tutorial I followed. So, I want the LTS release. I aborted for some reason, so do that. Right, we have NPM. For some reason it likes to do that, so I don't think I followed the other tutorial, but install node, or is it NPM? Node.js, okay. Close out of that, actually no. Still don't have it. Might have to do it again. And, you know, sometimes it is naughty. I don't know, it just doesn't work. So, try this one more time. 
I don't think the script ran when I pasted it, so this is probably what you have to do here. And they'll reinstall node. So just hang out with me for a sec. Now it's installing. So sorry I confused you there. All right. NPM. Yes. Okay. So we're done with that. We're going to install DNS TLS here. All right. And then we're going to. Oh, sorry. Add our host name. TLS hosts equals and then double click dot net that's an add domain you should get o.o.o.o .o 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 .o, meaning it's blocked by piehole so that's good and that really should be the end of it um, if you're on Android Pi then you'd go into your private DNS setting I believe and you would add the host name of your server and you could go on there. Now, I'm going to go. I don't think I took my password off here. So let's go here. Now, if you go in here and go to localhost, we should see that double click dot net somewhere All right there got blocked so we know that it is working and you know there really shouldn't be much to it if you have any issues and you have to contact me again but that's why I spun up pie hole with DNS over TLS and yeah so please like comment and subscribe